Well, this is a subject that we've had a lot of interest in that we've never done before, but I guess we can let our secrets out. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about today, Teen? We are going to talk about how to long stay in Portugal for non-EU residents, which is what we are. And we are also Tina and Norm, and we talk all things retirement and travel. So, Tim, can you hack the 90-day tourist visa in Portugal? Yes, <laughs> you can. And we found out how to do it. Yes, we contacted the Portuguese consulate in Toronto and we got a very nice email back from an official who told us how to do it. So this is how you can get six months in Europe on tourist visas. In all fairness, we <laughs> met a Canadian couple on a cruise ship out of Barcelona. We were on the cruise for two weeks and um, we... We, we got friendly with them, so we were um, getting together regularly and they told us that they were staying in Portugal basically for the winter from uh, Canada. Yes. And when we started going to Portugal, we realized you couldn't do this. Or could you? This is true. So what you have to do is beat and comply with the Schengen visa. Now, this... Very, very well done, Tim. That's, <laughs> that's a difficult word. And this actually covers 26 countries. So there's a lot of different countries in this, isn't there, Norm? But for non-EU residents, yeah. the maximum tourist visa is 90 days in that region. And Portugal is part of that. This is very true. So what our new friends had been doing were um, going to Europe. They were getting their Europe travel out of the way before they went to Portugal. That's why we met them on a cruise ship out of Barcelona. And incidentally, that was a great cruise because it was the yes. first time that we ever got to Morocco. I was it's quite exotic. Fantastic cruise, wasn't it? We loved that. So we had two weeks finding out how uh, you can get around the system. Yes. And they had actually been doing this, hadn't they, for over 10 years. So they were quite they experts at this. So the whole thing is, it's basically staying in Europe and Portugal for six months. And this is how they were doing it and how we've now been checked by the consulate. And this is how you do it. Arrive in Europe, uh, it will probably be a Schengen uh, regional country mm -hmm. because most of the sunny south are. Mm -hmm. So this couple were getting their Spanish travel out of the way, using up part of their 90-day visa from the Schengen area. So... After about 45 to 60 days, they would then go to Portugal. Once they're in Portugal, basically you can't leave doing this hack. Mm -hmm. So then basically once they had then returned to Portugal and particularly the Algarve region, because that was where we like going, mm -hmm. isn't it? And that's where they had been staying for te over 10 years. Yeah. So once you're now back in the Algarve and you're getting near to your dates running out, you then go and you apply to the local SEF border service, don't you? Yeah, and what you're going to be asking the SEF for is a visa extension. Mm -hmm. And to get the visa extension, you have to make an appointment online. Um, and then you go to the office at the appointed time. You need to take two color passport photographs of each of you. 
and 64 euros and they will extend your uh, tourist visa for another 90 days which basically is great isn't it Fantastic. so then from your original 90 days when you were traveling now you have the other 90 days so you basically now can have six months or five months if you just want that. But Tina, if you didn't want to do any traveling outside of Portugal and you just felt, hey, I want to be in Portugal for six months, mm -hmm. you can do that. You yes, can you can. You just go directly to Portugal. And before your tourist visa runs out, you apply to get the additional 90-day extension. Now, there is one thing also, Norm, too, um, that we should tell everybody about is once you have this extension, it is good for Portugal only. You cannot travel outside Portugal once they've given you the extension. That's why if you want to travel, travel first before you go into Portugal. We want to make that clear. This yeah. is not a Schengen uh, extended no. visa. It's a Portuguese extended uh, visa so it's only good for Portugal so don't make that mistake no but there's lots of beautiful places to see in Portugal oh, so ab absolutely fantastic. you know we've yeah. just been to the Algarve and Lisbon but there's lots of other areas that you can go to and explore isn't there and if you're going to be in um, Portugal for six months or even four months mm -hmm. start asking the smaller car hire companies whether mm -hmm. they have a, a, a an extended rate. Uh, we were getting uh, 12 euros a day for basically 30 days when yeah. we first started. But our friends that we met on the cruise ship got that down to nine yeah. euros a day based on the fact they were going to be there nearly six months. Yeah. I, I think it's five months that they ended up being there. Yeah, that's a, that was a great deal, wasn't it? Well, we got a great deal, but they got an even better one. <laughs> so if you don't want to live full time, you don't want to emigrate to Portugal, this is the way to get six months in yeah. Portugal in uh, the winter time. And uh, we just thought you'd like to know that. Yeah, we think it sounds like a great plan, don't we? So thanks for watching. Yes, and we hope everybody is staying safe. And keeping well. And until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.